Welcome back. The Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange has announced that its listed companies distributed a cash dividend of 15 billion dirhams in 2013 for the fiscal year 2012, an increase of 14 percent compared to the same quarter a year ago. The 15 billion cash dividend represents 64 percent of the total 23 billion dirham cash dividend distributed by companies listed on the UAE markets. So before we take a look at the day's business news, let's first take a look at the stock indices across the GCC. Welcome back. And in our top business story, continuing with Cityscape, the Abu Dhabi government has announced that over the next five years, an investment of 330 billion dirhams will be spent towards developing the Emirates real estate market, in line with the Abu Dhabi Vision 2030, as stated by government officials at this year's Cityscape. Responsible for all planning policies and infrastructure strategies is the Emirates Urban Planning Council, together with the regulatory body Istadama. Providing a better standard of living for both UA nationals and expatriates is priority. That's according to UPC officials, who added that the sustainability factor is at the core of all construction plans within the Emirates. Today in Cityscape, we're coming up with a new things such as the statistics for Estidama. It's basically uh, demonstrating how much space UPC approved and in line with Estidama uh, peer rating system and Estidama's uh, requirements. So today we're proud to say that Estidama as a program is a successful story to be told to the current and the next generations. We have numbers, we have successful stories on the ground which reach the sustainability aspects of developments in terms of one to five pearls. UPC, as I mentioned before, is a strategic uh, stakeholder within Abu Dhabi government and we are we're, we're proud to say that we are the first organization who came up with the 2030 plan which is a strategic vision. All the planning principles and all the sustainability aspects with, within what the UPC is doing is embedded in our, in our core business and this is what uh, our father, the father of the nation called for previously. So planning and saving the natural resources for the next generations is something, for example, something worth mentioning in such, in such question. Additionally, the government has mandated that all buildings within the capital are to comply with the sustainable rating requirements and achieve a minimum one pearl rating, while government buildings a two pearl rating. One step ahead is the Abu Dhabi Education Council, who have already designed and built approximately 35 schools with a two and three pearl rating. As you know that in uh, Abu Dhabi Education Council, we have started in phases. Now uh, we reached to the phase uh, four as an implementation. We completed three phases. More than 35 uh, public schools have been completed uh, between Al Ain, Al Garbiya, Western region, and, Al Ain, uh, and, and Abu Dhabi uh, city. So uh, these schools uh, being completed and handed over and now it's uh, operated uh, successfully. Now we are in the phase four to start our implementation. The UAE is the third strongest economy in Asia, overtaking China and South Korea according to the latest report. The Boao Forum for Asia assessed 37 Asian and Middle Eastern countries in its Asian Competitiveness Annual Report 2013, which placed the UAE in seventh place in 2012 and then to third later on in the year. The report stated that overall the rankings of the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Qatar, Kuwait and Kazakhstan outstripped ASEAN emerging economies, especially the UAE who came in at sixth place thanks to its rapid economic development, healthy economic environment, low inflation and unemployment rate, a government debt to GDP standing at 16.9% and national savings of over 30%. The UAE was rated sixth in the competitiveness category among the 37 Asian countries, ahead of China, Japan, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia and Qatar. 
The global family tackle industry is set to hit 5.6 billion US dollars by 2016, up from 2.2 billion in 2011. That's according to industry experts. According to a report released at the opening of the 8th annual World Tackerful Conference in Dubai on Monday, Tackerful has recorded a compound annual growth rate of 32% over the past five years, with the GCC and Malaysia as leading contributors. Experts were quoted as saying that in the Middle East, family tackerful penetration has not been as rapid as Malaysia. However, the region has all the necessary ingredients to make family tackerful more viable and profitable than general tackerful.